two old grooms have two lances. I never really considered it double lance. It doesn't make any sense though when I say that out loud, but I feel like you picked. <laughs> never mind. Okay, I guess what I'm trying to say is that old grim is very good stats. Very good signatures on his axe. Oh, yeah? People that are axe mains tend to pick Old Grim, even though he has a lance. It's game number one, TWK. Stop <laughs> listening to me. Okay, we've got Barbar and Bar Bo Bo going against Macho Man and Old Grim. And it is dead even here on Apocalypse. I'm wondering if we're going to have Apocalypse all the way through. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and say it. We're probably You're putting that prediction we're in? Gonna have, we're going to have a different map. Oh, a different map. At all least, right, so that's at least one. At least one different map. At least. I mean, I, I, I'm calling Hyper and Kaina here just because... When, when looking at anything, even though Vem and Junior Roar have made so many upsets all throughout the day, oh. it's always the safer bet to go Sniped. for uh, the higher seed. Well, you know what? I'll, I will give you this. They took the first stock, and they're prepared to take the second one here. That's true. Vem trying to get their oh. way back on stage, but oh. and Dire Straits somehow threading the needle and scoring a how, knockout. How did Vem turn that into a, like, a... Hey, I'm having trouble. Into a double knockout? Yeah, obviously, they're like, I'm having trouble recovering. Oh, no, that dare almost hit me. Ha, ha got you. Recovery gets them off the right side. Oh, of the but stage. wait a minute. The power play. No! Dropped combo. A ton of damage left on the table. Ooh. All right, down, light, down. Here went for the dodge down. Vem gets through with the axe. Even stocks all around, but Junior Roar is having some trouble here. And Vem, wait! How are the. Okay, blue team's actually crazy. Oh, whoa. Junior Roar just got deleted. Oh, and that's too bad because Junior Roar and Vem, I think, did a really good job baiting Hyper off the side of the stage and almost getting an early yep. knockout onto Hyper with the side airs. But they make it back with an expert ground pound coming out from Kaina. And now we're trying to set up for a team combo onto Vem. Ooh, friendly fire all around. Well, if I hit my partner, you hit yours. We'll call it even in the end, right? I mean, we were seeing a little bit of evidence of that before in previous matchups where it's just one. One stock was flying to a teammate and then the other, but now here we are. Game one of this best of five. Neutralite hits. Kinda great patience there with that turnaround jump side air. Hits Vem, but they still haven't taken him down. And what? Another Whoa. Lance recovery knockout. Whoa. Okay, all right. That one wasn't as good. I was about to celebrate a double knockout and then I had to. And realize. then you're like, wait, why isn't the announcer saying double knockout? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. He knows. He knows. Uh, shouts to the announcer. We've got a three stocks to one situation. But is it? Yes, it is. It is. <laughs> That's the first I don't know. I'm looking at that soft target of Kaina right now. Mm. A strong hit like that one could yeah. take him out. Yeah. Momentary 1v1. Oh. oh, no. Denied. You know, that is probably the best usage of that signature I think I've ever seen. You know, Axe in general. Mm -hmm. Pretty good against Lance. I think I've always said this. Yeah. I just feel like it's got a very strong matchup there. But Barbar in particular, with that side signature, one of, in my opinion, the hardest to use signatures in Bryn's kit, mm. was able to use the fact that the signature lasts that long to catch the tail end of the side air ah, when he was done with the yes. momentum. And that got that knockout there. Really nice uses of that move. And you get so much distance off of it. The slide charge, it makes total sense. It was just cool to see uh, Hyper use it so well. It's crazy that Hyper and uh, Kaina were able to win that despite taking, you know, two to almost three times as much team damage. Friendly fire. Three, it's just part two, of the play style, one. you know. Can't oh, yeah. yeah you, <laughs> it, it, you, you look at it and you'd be like, ah, every single one of those hits was activating a chase dodge. All right? It was a tactical friendly fire. Well, okay, I, fire. you say that, but I will say Hyper actually hit Kaina with a down light and immediately turned it into a gravity cancel right, side yeah, light uh, onto the correct uh, target. Unironically, that's a very smart and cool thing to do in 2v2s. Oh, yeah. It's hitting your teammates with combo starters, but not finishing the combo on the teammate and using it as a movement tool. But, uh, oof, Kaina. Yeah, kind of 30 there. seconds in, you know, we were just shouting them out, but kind of Ackerman Ooh. getting knocked out. I don't know about that gravity cancel downlight either. Okay, side air hits. Recovery, do okay, that was a nice dodge coming up from Kainos. He's, tr he's tr struggling to avoid getting hit by these attacks here. Oh, dashes forward and back, but Hyper taking so much. Oh, oh no, wow. that, that just kind of got right out of there. Mammoth Fortress platform helping him out so much, being able to dodge down, stop Sider hits, and Hyper and kind of go to opposite edge guards. Curious decision. I feel like there's no right or wrong answer there. Some players would opt to focus on one edge guard together mm -hmm. rather than go for separate ones, but they did split up their opponents there, and it works out about. 50-50, right? Two knockouts going down there both ways. Now in favor of the blue team. As kind of is just as damaged as Vem is, but Vem is a whole stock ahead. Yeah, that's the big thing. And Vem looking for another knockout. Man, Vem Ooh. is seriously MVP here. Yeah. 
Them and Dreamer roll. Oh, and then working off stage. And Do it again. So Do it again. The way. Them's unstoppable. What? That with the gravity cancel down sig, oh, the dodge doesn't work. It doesn't work. matter. It so, doesn't matter. I mean, I'm you're still right. saying he's the best. I can't he's actually the best. He used that down signature on Ulgrim like it was a down air. The way that yes. he, he set it up, it was so wonderful. And now four stocks to two. Kinda is on the verge of being out of this. And Hyper gonna have to be in a 1v2, one stocks to four at this rate if Kinda and Hyper can't get something started up here. I mean, nice job stacking the neutralites, but they're gonna need more than that if they wanna be able to bring this back. No side stick from Hyper means that Juno Roar gets to live another, oh. uh, a little bit longer. Hold on. We've got the knockout on one, That's the closeout on two. Okay. Stocks are tied up. I'm just looking at Kaina right Whoa, now. Whoa, Ben, what are you doing? Oh, Wait a ben. minute. Oh, oh, the grab punch. Hyper gets the grab Is that it? Throw, is that it? The dive kick. Hyper's crazy. Juror is now in a 1v1 against Hyper, and Kaina's the one that goes down. That is beautiful. I cannot believe it. Bem went down there thinking that they had safety, but no, he goes down at a fresh stock, and now it's a 1v1 between Hyper and Juror. Yeah, that unraveled so quickly. Oh man, all right. Pairing up with the Axe. You said Ooh. Axe has a pretty good matchup against Lance. Yeah, it's got I great it. aerial control. A lot of its attacks last a pretty long time, so it can snipe out the recover time Ooh. on a lot of these Lance attacks. Hyper doing that dash jump, dodge diagonally down to be able to get through either the side air or down air of the Lance. And Juno Roar is going to try to switch to a weapon, but Hyper doing such a great job denying it. Anti air with the down light goes for the gravity catch oh. for after such a delayed landing on that ground pound. But Juno Roar ends up winning out on the weapon battle, but not the damage battle as Hyper is just barely in the lead. Oh, he tried to fall down there. Ooh. He hits the neutral light instead, and Hyper takes a little bit of damage for it, but the side light comes through. No purchase on the dodge read. Hyper has hit that side light a couple Whoa. times. Oh, but Juno Roar. What? The damage. I can't believe he went for the slide charge. Neutral sick. Oh, he went for the down tick as well. The recovery hits. Trying to fall down with the axe. Ground pound misses. Weapon throws twice in a row. Juno Roar is just waiting for another spawn, but that uh -oh. side air hits after a jump, and Juno Roar, oh, he avoids the side air, but the recovery hits. Oh He's low gosh. on jumps. He's got to be careful about this. He dodges back to the stage, Pogo. and That's Hyper it. waited for it. That was so, it was so difficult for Juno Roar in that position to be able to make it back. No jumps, no recovery. He has to either go but to the stage or go, uh, yeah, this is, this, this is, is, this is, look at that. that. I, I can't believe yeah. they managed to make this comeback as dire as things looked. And it's, I, I will say, let's it's see, on Let's the see the knockout here uh, on Vem. I think Vem comes back, right? Yep. Yeah, and so Vem went down for safety, waiting for Juno to pick up a weapon. And Hyper, with the weapon, he threw the spear Unreal. almost like perpendicular with the stage. Yeah. But it didn't bounce off the stage. It covered any way that Vem had a recovering back to the stage. Yep. Knocks him down. The dive kick finishes the deal. Hyper, such a huge carry that game. Absurd. Wow. 441 damage on his spear alone. Yeah. Tack on that extra 194 on the axe. Hyper putting up numbers. Yeah, kind of thankful for his teammate that game, I would imagine. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Hyper oh, yeah. really went in, and it's cool to see the amount of weapon throws between Juno and Hyper, which I think, mm. I, we don't have a graph for it, but I imagine that escalated a lot when the 1v1 happened, and they were both just trying to starve out the weapons, oh, destroy yeah. their weapons at each other, and get as much da chip damage as possible, because when you're in that last stock scenario in a 2v2, yep. pressure's on. You treat it a little bit differently than you would an actual 1v1. Oh, sure. But yeah, wow, what a game two coming out from them. And kind of in Hyper, I was thinking we were going to say it was one to one after that. But that's not the case. So close. Not after that edge so guard. So close. But uh, now, hey, Hyper and Kaina mm -hmm. sitting on set point. That's true. They're looking to march right into winner's final. Yeah, yeah get a little bit of a, a, a repeat Ooh. of the, the composition of top three coming up here. If they're able to get a win here over Junior Roar and Vem, it's 2-0, match point. Winner of this goes on to fight against Wes and Power Ranger. Well, if Hyper and Kaina win this, they go to fight Wes and Power Ranger. There's also potential for reverse 3-0. And we've got ourselves here still, the double Ulgrim on Apocalypse. Yeah, they went back to Apocalypse. I guess that little field trip, you know, over the Mammoth was just like, mm. Mm, didn't didn't really care for it. So let's go back home. Ooh, Cider hits. Let's see what's happening here as Vem has gone down a little bit early once again. I'm a little worried about Vem's performance here in the winner's semis. After that one stock went out early, oh. it looks like he's just been taking a huge beating. Can't really find his footing against the likes of Hyper and Kaina. Downer hits through, try to go for that neutral signature. Sider sends 
Uh, Juno Roar flying, and oh no, oh, wow. Hyper! How can you do it to him again? No, Vem barely makes it back as Hyper flubs the downlight edge guard, but man, Vem has got to be terrified about fighting Hyper off stage at this rate as Juno Roar goes down, and, Hi and Vem is just struggling to land back onto the stage. That dodge is gone using that neutral signature, and Hyper continues with this extended edge guard. Yeah, I mean, it really just has been Hyper sticking on Vem the entire time. Mm -hmm. There's, there's like, occasionally just the swap over, but they'll go to rotate for the 2v1. Vem is definitely the prime target. Oh, neutralized hitting, side air hits, Hyper dodging through everything. I can't believe oh, it. Wait, it's a oh, oh, okay, okay. I, I get what Hyper was doing there because he, he put in the ground pound at the apex of the chase dodge and was thinking, if I touch the stage, yep. I already got my jumps back. I need to get the heck out of there as soon as possible so that I don't get hit by something. So the ground pound was smart. He just didn't quite get the distance on the dive kick, but it's still four stocks to two to TWK. It is about to be a 3-0 at this rate if Juno Roar and Vem can't do something like what happened to them in the previous game. Yeah, I mean, incredibly solid position, but that's, that's the trouble. You can never really tell. Things can spin on a dime. Oh, and Juno Roar. Oh, that might be it. Stomp Sider comes through. Vam gets punished for hitting a sideline. Oh. A little bit of friendly fire from Hyper, but I mean, oh, the dodge comes through, but the recovery hits. Juno Roar barely surviving. Gravity cancel. Just <laughs> from Hyper is just showing, hey, it doesn't matter if I'm off stage. I'm going to be hitting you with anything. Okay, kind of goes down. Hyper could go down, but at this point. All right, does Vem have another MVP performance left Let's in? Find out. It's going to be now or never. Well, now or lower bracket. I suppose. Yep. Oh, oh, read the needle, what? got the knockout. Oh, just God. earned himself no. a one v one. No way does Vem pull this off. I don't know, Taza. So I'm okay. looking. That's no, 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 no. Not yet. It. Yeah, that signature is at the greatest at knocking out. Pretty good at catching. Nair hit misses. Side air whiffs. Down light recovery. Oh. That's it. Nicely done from Hyper. Hyper didn't even flinch. He watched kind of go down mm -hmm. at zero mm -hmm. damage. He was kind of like, it's fine. I just did this last game under way harder circumstances. Them, really nice attempt. But man, Hyper's playing out of his mind. Hyper's so clutch. I mean, uh, we've seen it now in these yeah. last player scenarios. Hyper always able to get the win. Right, we're gonna see that right there, the down light. Oh, there's the the previous game. Oh, a little bit of a extra hyper action. Nice falling cider.